Hi, it's Vicky here with a totally different project today. I will be creating a baby crib mobile using dyes from the latest release by Simon Sesta. Simon has released many different dyes that are great for cutting out uh, felt and uh, they also give you the convenience of having all those little dots around the designs. For my project today I will be using only one of those dyes and that's the little bear. So you can see that the set comes uh, with uh, its own magnetic uh, piece of paper so you don't lose anything. Now I am going to cut out the basic shape of the bear uh, using felt and uh, I am going to use uh, many different colors of felt as I will be creating four of those bears. So you can see how it cuts out all those little um, holes around which are great uh, when uh, you are going uh, to go ahead and uh, stitch uh, both of these pieces together. It also comes with uh, different parts to embellish your pair, such as the nose, little heart, the eyes, the ears, which I am going to cut out using different colors. And here you can see that I have a nice uh, pattern to follow along with my needle and my thread. And uh, for my thread I will be using a similar color as uh, the bear. And um, I have tied a knot at the end of my thread which I am hiding on the inside of those two pieces. And now I am going to go up and down all around the bear. Now when you go up and down you will see that you leave a gap between the stitches. I am going to zoom in uh, uh, in a bit so you can see what I mean. You can leave it as it is with all those uh, gaps in between, but if you don't like that look, you can always go all around uh, the design with your needle and uh, thread and fill in the rest of the gaps, which is actually what I will be doing. So here is how it looks with all those gaps in between the stitching. And if you like that look, don't forget to fill in the bear before you finish off stitching. Now I am going to go back with my needle and thread and fill in all the gaps so you can see the other look. And really both look uh, very cute. Uh, I just love the second one because it uh, looks more finished but it's uh, more time consuming. So here is how it looks. I'm all the way to the beginning and uh, I am going to use my filler and uh, make my bear look puffy. I am going to uh, use a pencil or you can use a bone folder or anything you have uh, just to push all that uh, filling inside the little areas like um, the bear's ears and uh, the hands and everything. You don't need too much. I didn't want that to be super puffy. And once everything is there, I'm going to use my needle again and finish off stitching. And now that my bear is ready, it's time to stick all the embellishments. For that I decided to, to go with my gel medium and I found that uh, it sticks uh, felt to felt really great, but you can use any fabric glue that you have at home. The die set also cuts out uh, little uh, tiny eyes for the bear, but I decided to go with my enamel accents just because uh, I can uh, make them as big as I want. So I have that uh, fine tip on my uh, black enamel accents and um, the truth is that it won't stay as it is at the moment. They are not going to be uh, puffy and um, shiny just because uh, the felt is going to absorb all that but uh, they are going to still look nice and vibrant and very defined. 
I have followed the exact same steps and I have created four of those bears. So I have a pink, a yellow and a green one. And uh, you can see that I am using a contrasting color for my yellow bear. I'm using uh, a thread, an orange thread. And uh, maybe you like that look more. I just wanted to try it out. And I think I love how defined all those uh, stitched edges are. Now I'm going to stick uh, all those little embellishments again, just like I did with my blue bear. And I'm going to add uh, the eyes and all the nose and everything. Now for the eyes, once they were dry, I did add a little bit of uh, just a dot of uh, white uh, gesso. You can also use uh, white uh, acrylic paint. And this really brings those uh, bears to life. This die set also gives you small parts to cut out for creating a scarf for your bear, but uh, I decided to go with a ribbon. I thought that was uh, really quicker, so I'm just tying a double knot on uh, the neck of each bear and uh, everyone has a nice little scarf. Now for the main mobile structure, I have used two uh, sticks, wooden sticks. They are exactly 12 inches, each of them, and I'm going to color them by using acrylic paint. One, I'm going to color it blue and the other is going to be orange. Instead of uh, creating this uh, cross structure, as I will be demonstrating, you can make your life easier and use a wooden embroidery ring. And uh, you can just tie all those um, bears from there. And just like always, you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today for this project just below the video in the description area, as well as on my blog. I am using my needle and I am going to thread some uh, string at the top of uh, the bears and I am going to tie a knot there so I can have a string to hang them from the wooden sticks. I am going to repeat the same process for all four bears and then I'm ready to assemble my mobile. I am using my ruler and with a pencil I am going to mark where the center of those uh, wooden sticks are. And since my sticks are 12 inches I am marking at the 6th inch. This is where I am going to place one on top of the other to create my cross. Now to keep those uh, two together I am going to use just a dot of uh, a glue that uh, sticks wood on wood. This glue is going to keep them temporarily together until I secure both those sticks with my thread. Now my wooden sticks are uh, nicely secured together and uh, I don't really care about uh, that knot and uh, the thread because you can always cover it up by using a piece of uh, ribbon that uh, you can tie, you can just tie a bow or you can uh, do what I did with felt. I just uh, used a circle die and I cut out two felts out, uh, using uh, that die. I, am, uh, I found the center of one of those uh, uh, circles and I'm going to use my crop dial to create a um, hole there and uh, this is where I am going to apply one of my eyelets. I 
I am using a piece of uh, ribbon that uh, I am going to thread through that hole on my felt and uh, this is where I will be able to hang my baby mobile from. So at the back I am going to stick the other uh, circle and uh, I, to do so I am using my hot glue gun. This is not going to give a nice finish to my structure since it's going to hide all that uh, thread and uh, the center of that cross. And now all that's left to do is to tie the bears on the structure. Now the truth is that you don't really need uh, to make them puffy, you can just look through your stars and see what dyes you have and all you have to do is to just tie, uh, cut out uh, felt uh, shapes and stick them on those uh, threads. I am going to show you what I mean. I have cut out uh, some stars out of uh, uh, dyes that I already had which I am just going to add a dot of uh, hot glue stick them on the thread and then I'm just going to cover everything up with one more shape. I am going to do that for uh, a few of uh, those stars and I have also cut out clouds with another die and I'm just going to do the exact same thing. So you can see that uh, all those elements add uh, even more details on my mobile but at the same time they're not puffy, however they look very cute. And that was the project for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. If you need more inspiration, here are two more projects that I made a while back. Thank you all for watching!